This is what I've been working on lately. Besides journals, I like to make little gnomes out of felt. Some of these are fairly good size. This one has Icelandic wool as the hair. And some are really small, like these, with lamb's wool for the beards. This one I did some um, French knots on the hat. The hats and the felt that covers the bodies is made using the wet felting process. And then I add the beards and the faces with wool. I like the way this wool looks. It makes a great looking beard. This wool is, has been dyed to get that color. This was also some dyed wool for this beard. This was dyed, I think, too. I get my wool from a local wool outlet shop here in Langlois, and Sandy that runs it um, has all kinds of wool, and she does dyeing also, so I can get it any color I want. I just show her a color sample. I've also been working on some new journals. These journals are going to have collage covers. This is one of the covers here. It um, started out as one big sheet of collage paper that was uh, something I found that had an old house plan on it. And so it, it was a big, huge sheet, enough to make four covers. So I first just collaged with some big pieces of painted papers, papers I'd stenciled, jelly plates, magazine pages. And then I go back and add the details by adding cutouts from magazines. This was from a catalog. This for, was from an old magazine. And uh, this was a rub-on. I can't think of who does these rub-ons, but they were pretty cool looking, so I added those there. This cover has some, a little bit of stamping, and um, I found an old grade book from the 1930s, and I put some of that in there. Some cutouts. This was printed. This was from a catalog. Another cover. This one has things from catalogs, magazines, my jelly prints. This was cut out of a Trader's, Trader Joe's ad. Yeah, you ought to go to their website and ask to be sent the catalog. It has some pretty cool pictures in it. Another one of those rub-ons by, I can't think of what her name is. Some cutouts from the grade book, stamps from a magazine. This was from an atlas. I think this was from a calendar. And here's one of the signatures I'm working on. It has different kinds of paper. I found some vintage wallpaper on Etsy. It's beautiful. I love it. But I did want to reinforce where the fold was, so I glued some tissue, Tim Holtz tissue paper down and decorated it up with a few stamps and stuff. This was from a book, which I took apart. I think I got this backwards. A sack, and I just cut the end off and 
put a pocket there and there'll be a pocket there. This was a calendar. And I've always liked the pictures on it. I've used it in my journals before. And then the pages on the back side where the actual month was, I added some pictures from magazines. Just plain paper. A bit of paper from my uh, flow book for paper lovers. Wrapping paper. I kind of like the designs on that. Uh, this National Geographic page that I put Citrusolve on. Just a page from a magazine. Had some nice pictures. Paper, just plain paper. Some paper and from one of those adult coloring books. Some of my jelly print paper. Some stationery. Brown craft paper. <coughs> Excuse me. This is paste paper that my sister made. <coughs> Tea stain paper. And that was a different batch that I did lighter. Jelly print paper. Another book I took apart uh, on making prints. And then some pages from children's books that had really nice images in them. The Mysterious Toy Shop. And another page from a book about birds. So all of these things will make nice pages in a junk journal. I don't know if they're going to fit in these. No. I might have to use a little bit less. It's going to be pretty full. And I'll just stitch this with a pamphlet stitch. Okay, I guess that's all I have to show you today. Thanks for watching.